This is my review of ABBA, the album. It was released in 1977 and produced by Benny and Bjorn. Uh, this is actually the only ABBA album that I have on CD, and I have a vinyl copy of it. My CD copy I got pretty recently, and it was like cracked when it showed up, which it, that really sucks when that happens, but yeah, oh well. Uh, this copy of it I got in 2016. Um, see, I, I had bought a, a record player around that time because I had a bunch of old records that people had given me. Um, and I was like really excited about it, so I was just having you know people come over and be like, let's listen to records. Well, one of my friends came over and we listened to some records, and the next time he came over, he he brought this and he's like, oh hey, I I found this. Um, I know you're an ABBA fan. I thought you could have it, so uh, he gave me this. Unfortunately, he's uh, no longer with us. Uh, passed away last year of cancer, which um, like not to I don't know, not to go into like weird medical stuff, but like yeah. Skin cancer can be like really serious, so if you've got any like things where you think you should get them checked, you probably should because if he had gotten some of the stuff checked out sooner, it probably could have saved him. But anyway, uh, sorry, just ranting about that. But uh, on to the uh, album. So I uh, not I wouldn't say this is one of my favorite al albums, but I definitely like it a lot. Which I mean, I. I like all their albums, but uh, this one, I I don't know. Um, I feel like in some ways it it's kind of definitely like I I feel like listening to all the band bands albums through this point, I can see them getting more to like the uh, oh I don't want to like say getting better because it's not like their first out that there was anything wrong with their first albums it's just that they're kind of taking things to a different level here kind of like a different realm uh, musically and so I think I think this album in in a lot of ways like is it's a really cool sounding album it's really like impressive in some ways but in other ways it's it's kinda maybe I, I guess like not as catchy is, is some of the stuff off their early album, their earlier albums in some points. Uh, kind of ranting, sorry. Uh, just always filming these after work and I'm like kind of tired and everything. Uh, so the first song, uh, Eagle, the opening track on the album, I think is probably... I can't say it's my favorite ABBA opening track because there's two, two coming up that definitely give it a run for uh, that title, but it's definitely an impressive song just very uh it, it fits its title really well it's just very like you know I, I guess people think of eagles and it's like majestic bird kind of soaring and stuff and that's what it what it sounds like they managed to like create uh that kind of feeling with the sound of the music which is really cool um the vocals on it just sound great uh just a, a really cool impressive song to start out the album with uh, the second song, "Take a Chance on Me," another another song that I think is just an absolutely great like killer song. Um, so like so catchy. I love the the like backing vocals actually that the guys are going to like take a chance, take a chance. It goes on through the background like. Uh, I think when I first heard it, it maybe struck me as a little bit like corny, but it's like really grown on me to the point where I'm like, wow, that's probably maybe my favorite part of the song but uh, just a great song uh, the third song One Man One Woman uh, it's kinda just a, a really pretty song um, and really catchy I, I really like the drumming on it like, I'm, I'm not sure who uh, does this say? Cushion drums Set. okay it does it says uh Ola Bernkert? I, I, sorry, I don't know how to say that name, but the drummer on this song, I really like what they play. Um, and just there's there's a lot of cool just uh, little like bits on it that I like. Uh, the fourth song, The Name of the Game, another, another song I like a lot. Uh, I'm pretty, I, I can't remember if it was on The Greatest Hits or not, or if it was on Abba Gold. Um, but it's a song of theirs that it seems like I've known for a long time. It seems like I knew it before I listened to this album. So I couldn't, I couldn't really think of a lot to say about it, but I, I like it quite a bit. Uh, the fifth song, Move On. 
the spoken word part at the beginning of it, like I'm not not sure how I feel about that, but I like the rest of the song. I think it's a good song. Um, the sixth song, "Hole in Your Soul," is one that kind of uh, still kind of not sure how to feel about. I kind of like bits of it, and I li I definitely like the way it starts out, but the kind of the the like it's got to be rock and roll to fill the hole in your soul bit. Like I'm not crazy about that part of the song like it's just not to me that that catchy uh and then i i i don't know enough about this to really i guess go into detail about it but i i guess they had a mini mini musical written or something called the girl with the golden hair and so they put three parts of it in as the last bits of the album uh and it, these songs are interesting because i think they they kind of sound like they could have been from a film almost that's they remind me of like film soundtrack songs i uh, which isn't a bad thing it's um just what they remind me of uh so the the first one of them in the seventh song on the album thank you for the music uh, really good song one that i like a lot kind of kind of gives me like the vibe and makes me think of like it could be like the ending credits uh song to a movie or something like that that's what it reminds me of uh, the eighth song, I wonder, a uh, song that's, uh, I, I thought it was a, a pretty song, not, uh, maybe not like extremely memorable, but it was pretty, uh, and it kind of reminds me of another song out of a film, like I said, like all three of these kind of do. And the ninth song and final track on the album, I'm a Marionette, sort of, it sort of like reminds me of something out of an opera a little bit, and it's, it's sort of like darkish sounding for ABBA and so in a way it's kind of a kind of a weird way to end the album but I like it I like that they um did something different and put in this like kind of three song mini musical thing uh I, I don't know I, th I think it's a cool album I almost kind of or a cool idea and I kind of wish that maybe they had like kind of pursued that idea a little bit more with the musical thing. I mean, I guess, I guess I think, I think I've read that, like, Benny and Bjorn have done musicals, but I don't know. I guess, like, them as the band, like, I kind of almost wish they'd done, like, a concept album or something. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's pretty cool. So, um, out of the album, uh, I think as a whole, I'd still have to give this a four out of five. It's not, not a perfect album, I don't think, but they're, I, they're getting there. They're like so close. Um, and uh, it's not my favorite album, but it's definitely it's got some really really killer songs on some really great stuff. Um, especially like the the first half of the album. They said the second half is pretty cool with that, that like soundtrack bit, but definitely the first half of the album. Um, uh, it's 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 a really good album, but yeah, four out of five, really good album, not my favorite, but definitely check it out.